What did your crush do that absolutely killed your interest? Bragged about drinking and driving. He told me that he and his friends have a nothing under 100 club. Where they drink and then drive on the interstate going 100 plus miles per hour and have to send a full length snapchat video of the speedometer to each other. Two of my friends had been killed by a drunk driver 3 months prior. Oh god, that's awful. Honestly yeah. It's really sad how some teens and young adults stop paying attention to their safety. I would never imagine as a parent having a child that goes through this stuff and even risk their lives. Forget their safety, obviously they don't give a fluke. But others? Innocent PPL just going their way dying BC of these flukers? Revealed his list of conquests. Not even my brother knows how many women I've slept with. Then he offered to take my virginity in the back of his pickup truck. I passed. He couldn't have thought he was special for offering to take your virginity? Did you say thanks for the same offer as every other man since I was 15? A pickup truck at that. Did he entice you with a seductive improvement of the liner for the bed of the truck? Or did he make a stupid joke about it being a bed? I can hear this conversation and I sympathize with you in solidarity of suffering many of my own. He talked about how he and his friends used to abuse farm cats. They talked about one that was buried and then run over. I did a quick 180 and absolutely hated him. Well that's definitely serial killer territory. Is there any actual evidence of a significant correlation between serial killers and animal torture? Or is it just a meme slash urban legend? There's several instances where this has happened yes. It shows lack of remorse, lack of attachment. Attachment disorders stem into personality disorders. He tried to discreetly take photos of my feet. Nothing against people who are into that. But the way he was going about it was super creepy. Yikes. Double yikes. I had a girlfriend once who hooked up with a foot fetishist at the fetish and fantasy ball in Vegas about 10 years ago. They never dated, but he paid her 4 pics of her feet for months. She said it was the most honest relationship she'd ever had. Lol it was more honest than asterisk your asterisk relationship with her. Openness about kinks is pretty key in my mind. Why hide what you're into with the people who enjoy sharing in your pleasure? Haha, <laughs> I think she meant with the opposite sex. We were just friends, and very straight. Lol, makes sense now. She asked if things didn't work out, if I would mind, if she went out with my roommate. I said I couldn't possibly do that to him and left. Quick, we are gonna need an ambulance for this burn. That burn is radiating high levels of heat. Her heart will be fine at least. She clearly didn't have one. Shoot her food with her mouth open. Placed the tip on the table before we'd received service. Before using it as a threat. Real ugly. Like this $20 tip stays here if you keep my water refilled. There are humans who will put out multiple bills and remove one every time they are displeased. Real charmers. Stole from a homeless person. We were walking together downtown and she saw a bucket of coins in front of a pharmacy. She just scooped it all up and kept walking. Guy comes out as she's 20 feet away or so and yells at her. She keeps moving. I stood there and just gave him a $20 and didn't hang out with her anymore. We were 14 and 15. It was very nice of you to give him money. I can't imagine why someone would steal from a homeless person. I lived in a family shelter with my son for 9 months last year. The staff regularly stole from the residents. Someone kept coming into my locked room. All staff have master keys and taking electronics. I'm talking about USB chargers and power banks. Over and over again. It sucked. We really relied on one simple thing. Power. USB. It's hard being down. That's low. Hopefully you're in a better situation these days. She asked me if I was good with kids because she was pregnant with her ex and that's she's not good with kids. It was the first date. No way dude. What was your response? I told her that I'm not comfortable raising a child that isn't mine and that it's not gonna work out. After my response she lost her shit screaming that I was a heartless piece of shit and that all men are the same. Kissed me and then. After he pulled away, told me he has a girlfriend. The old razzle dazzle? First you get the dazzle, then you get the razzle. We were teenagers, he lived in a different province, and we used to chat on Skype. 
he wanted me to think he was a badass or something, and would always talk about his drug use. He ended up faking a heroin overdose when we were on chat together. I was hysterically crying and freaking out thinking I was watching someone dying and was trying to figure out how to call 911 in another province when he snapped out of it and told me he was actually okay. I didn't talk to him much after that. Got him. What a loser. He was about to commit suicide. Suicide is badass. He just likes to jump I guess. His name is Rudy. Huge crush on a fellow uni student. I was invited over for what I expected to be a platonic study date, but hey, any time spent is better than just being alone, or so I thought. Got there and found another student from class also. Okay, study group. Turns out her mom and her set us up for a full press MLM pitch. Video, literature, the works. I stayed a bit not to be rude. Excused myself shortly and only talked to her in class, just in passing from then on. Huge letdown. Edit. MLM means multi-level marketing. Acura pyramid scheme. Signing up to both buy and sell something, while recruiting others to sell also. You get a percent of all of your recruit sales also. All the percentages basically flow upward. So the only way to make any significant money is to be high in the tree, towards the top of the pyramid. It's all bullshit, basically. That is probably the most insane thing I could imagine. You know damn well she's not keeping friends after that. Actually had an acquaintance who did this to me back when I was in college. I was interested in asking her out as well, only to get to the coffee meet and found out there's an older dude that was accompanying her and the table was full of brochures and crap. I immediately recognized that it's her MLM pitch and so I just stood up and left. It definitely killed my interest on the spot. She got scammed a decent chunk of her savings at the time, but the good thing was that I eventually talked her out of it with the help of some other friends in common social circles. We became friends and even dated for a bit. The bad thing is that I recently discovered she started peddling MLM health products again, those essential oil type of thing, and I'd fully expect her to lose a ton of money once again. Fluke MLM. And Mariah. I liked you a lot, but I sincerely hope you stop being so goddamn stupid. I honest to god, cannot fathom how anyone would fall for something so blatantly obvious. Like I'm glad I've never reached that level of desperate on. Kept arranging times to talk and whatnot, then always forgot or was not available. I've had the same thing happen to me. She would always text me and ask if I could chat at a certain time. Of course I would agree. Then when I called she would have her phone off or only answer 5% of the time. I really liked her too. So I was just like WTF. If you say you want to talk at so and so time, you know, answering the phone might help. I had this girl text me, not me text her, 5 days in a row asking to hang out and stuff. I would say yes, then ask what she wanted to do. I would never get a response. I don't understand how you can ask somebody to hang out and then just ghost them. And I only kept getting my hopes up because she had some B's excuse to go with it. Bullied the quiet kid in our class. What a jerk. And it's such shame that she stooped to those levels cause she seemed like a sweet girl. The moment I saw her do that I lost it with her cause the quiet is genuinely a nice guy still friends to this day due to our mutual love of anime and gaming. As a quiet guy who tries to be genuinely nice. Thank you. This was years ago, on a first date. Tried to convince me to quit my job and put all my savings into gold bars. Then demanded I'll let him read my tarot cards to see if we'd be a good fit. Nope nope nope. Another controlling type. I I. Ye. I don't get washing. I just don't really like taking a shower or a bath or anything. I can smell this quote. His sister actually approached me and let me know that he was once arrested for locking their other pregnant sister in their basement. Went on a coke binge while she desperately tried to get out and went outside to beat their unsuspecting neighbor's van with a golf club. That was a big ol' nope. Sister's a legend BTW. Edit. Thank you all for the cake day messages. Talk non-stop about himself and his accomplishments and never ask me one question about myself. 
experienced this, but he would ask me questions about myself, and after one line from me, would take over the conversation and somehow direct the spotlight from my answer back onto himself, almost competitively. Turned out to be the person eating everyone else's food from the break room fridge. My sandwich. You ate. My iii sandwich? Told me he was only being nice to me, because he was interested in a friend of mine. I see his Facebook posts now. He is dumber than a box of rocks on a treadmill. I'm not sure why the box of rocks on the treadmill is dumber than the box of rocks not on a treadmill, but I accept the metaphor. I was just thinking to myself shit, I'm not dumb for not understanding this metaphor am I? She got blackout drunk at a party and violently shat her pants. The smell alone completely turned me off of any interest I had. Violent Lil Mayo. I've been talking to a guy online for a while now. In the past few days, our conversation has jumped from a dating app to texting to phone calls the last few nights. We were really hitting it off on the phone both nights, but he was drinking while talking to me, and each night he got more repetitive and emotional as the conversation went on. The conversation then went off the rails and he seemed angry with me for some unknown reason and hung up. The first night it happened, I gave him the benefit of the doubt, because we've all accidentally drank too much sometimes, and acted a fool. But two nights in a row? Yeah, any attraction I was developing is gone. I'm not interested in dating an abusive drunk. Had a crush on this girl back in high school. She seemed like a sweet girl. After she rejected me, I let it go, but still was interested in maintaining some sort of friendship. Found out she was actually pretty toxic behind my back. She made fun of me for a lot of things that really didn't matter, like hand motions while talking, and I just lost interest in her entirely, even in a friendship. She slept with my dad. That has to be the shortest answer, and somehow still the biggest red flag. Too critical about every word I uttered under the name of sarcasm. Oh yeah, the classic it's a joke, so you can't get mad type or line.